teach some basic like setup, how to address the bar, how to touch the bar. We have people that have, that are here that have never uh, weightlifted or like just really getting into it. We'll show you some basic drills that you can take back with you or hopefully use here. Um, and then we'll, we'll do like a few of the full list by the time we get done to the end of the hour. Your height, how tall you are and how long your limbs are is gonna determine how close you are to the bar when you set up, right? So Blake, you're obviously gonna be real close to it because you're short and me, you, we're gonna be farther away. Becca is gonna be farther away. Longer legs proportion to their body. In general, when you address the bar, you're thinking about putting this belt buckle right underneath it for your starting point. From here, I'm gonna have Becca squat down to the setup. So she's gonna keep all this locked in. Notice she doesn't like flop to the bar. She's gonna squat down to it. Your elbows are gonna be turned out. All right, so she have a nice long line here. Hips are gonna be slightly higher than your knees. Okay. Back's nice and flat, chest is up, this is smooth. Take your toes, turn them out. Okay, now set this here first. So, whoosh. yep, so like, yeah, so this, it's a lot easier to maintain than it is to gain. All right, so main, just maintain your back position on the way down to the bar. Last time to get the bar, you bent over. I want you to bend your knees first to go get the bar. Bend, ah, stand it back up. <laughs> bend your knees first to get the bar. Yep, there you go, good. And you need to have tension in your hips, all right? So that's why we have the hips slightly higher than your knee. If you're sitting with your butt all the way down, there's a greater chance when you're learning how to lift that you're not gonna have that proper tension. Okay, that's why you were going like this, I'm telling you, a little more up, a little more down, that sort of thing, okay? When we're in the bottom position, the first huge uh, obstacle in weightlifting is passing your knee, all right? For you guys, when you go back home, think about your shoulder needs to be on top of or slightly in front of the bar when it's at your knee. It, does, it can't be way out in front, it can't be way behind. It needs to be right on top of the bar. You think you can demo this? So turn around, face them, show a good setup. You'll squat to it. Now, I want you to pull and pause at your knee. Pretty good. Okay, so if you guys are getting like a three quarter inch view, or 45 degree view, sorry, you're gonna see that her shoulder is basically on top of the bar. Weight distribution in her foot is good. It's, probably, it's still here through the midfoot. It's not in the heel. It's another area where people make mistakes. And this back stayed flat the whole time. Go ahead and set it down, relax. All right, stay right there. You're gonna do one more. When you set up and you get in that good bottom position, you pull the bar to the floor, the back angle doesn't change, okay? So from the floor to your knee, the back angle stays the same. So hop down, set up again. Get tight, don't move yet. She's gonna keep this back angle as she passes her knee. Okay, that's pretty good. So the hips and shoulders are rising at the same rate off the floor. Most people are gonna wanna clear their knee by shooting their butt back. So the easiest way to clear the knee is to do this. Okay, that gets it out of the way. That kills any chance of creating like good power, good pop. You gotta keep that hip down as you drive. Got to have position from the floor to your knee first. Starts with a good setup. So you're going to set your back, set your chest, squat to it. Once the bar comes off your hip, harden with the arms. Okay, and it needs to be back. Okay, back, 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 back. Woo. Widen your hands out just a little bit. Okay, we're not raising the bar with our arms. We're doing it all with our legs. You're going to drive it. Woo. There you go, good. Now. When you make this turnover, go ahead and put the bar down. Your hands probably still need to be a little bit wider. It's gonna be uncomfortable, it's not natural. But when you make this turn, think about driving your elbow high and turning it hard, okay? Exactly. Power is actually a great drill for you because you you're got you missing this connection piece. And what I mean by connection is, you should know where that bar is the whole time you're lifting it, okay? You don't wanna whack it and then it ends up somewhere, you're diving under it and then you're trying to find it, okay? Connected the whole time. Okay, so right there, I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna move you a little bit. This is gonna feel way, let me push you back. There you go, you're a big dude. 
Okay, shoulder over more. There you go. Don't let this go. Okay. Oop. Think about keeping this to here. Now you can hinge, you can bend, yeah. You can bend just back and stay flat the whole time you bend. I just don't want this. This break down where your shoulders come forward. You're all right. Think about how, how many years you play baseball, right? Forever? Yeah. Hey, how many times have you done this? Never. For like 20 minutes? Yeah. Right, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be different. You see these elbows are still pointed out to the side and a good little checkpoint is just to look and make sure that you're not seeing an excessive amount of, of knee. It should be pretty flush, elbow anchored on the knee, okay? Back still flat. Hips higher than the knees, shoulders higher than the hips. That's the quick and dirty checklist of a clean setup.